Hey guys, Bobby Legs here, and tonight I want to talk about the notion of the one watch collection. Um, is there a watch out there that ticks all the boxes for you that you can wear on any o occasion? Is there a such thing? Um, but before we move forward, please remember to like and subscribe and click that bell icon to get uh, updates for any new videos that I that I post. Um, so I think there's maybe a few watches out there that I've had personal experience with that um, could get me there, could get me to uh, the one, having the one watch as part of my collection and no other watches. Um, uh, let's start off with the uh, Black Bay 58. And uh, A couple of weeks ago when I did the review, I had mentioned that um, I had a moment where I thought to myself, man, uh, I mean, I could wear this watch all the time and you know, what's the point of having all the other watches in the collection? You know, this watch is it. Um, for me, it's uh, got a classic look. Um, perfect, uh, you know, three-hand three piece that just tells the time. Um, and uh, and I could wear this in a, with a suit. I could wear this with jeans and t-shirts. I could wear this in, with my pajamas. Um, I could wear this when I'm going and collecting firewood. Um, you know, I think what's great about this watch is, you know, not not to jump into the specs and do that over again, but you know, the sizing of the watch, um, it uh, it's kind of um, you know, in between a the luxury size uh, around 34, 36 millimeters, and a super sporty size of 40 to 42 to 44, or whatever how big you want to get. Um, and uh. And the way it feels and the low profile, the lowish profile of the, of the watch, um, and uh, and how it sits on my wrist, you know, um, at times I forget that it's there, and uh, and it just looks great. Um, there's other watches out there though too that I've had experience with that that I think um, could fit the bill, and and one of them probably no surprise here is the uh, Rolex Explorer One. Um, now that watch is almost double of the Black Bay 58, um, but it is a Rolex and it is one of their flagship watches. And, uh, you know, also another time only piece, um, with a great history and heritage. And, um, you know, that watch you can easily wear in, in the boardroom or, uh, you know, out with the, out with the guys or, or hanging out at home. You know, that watch you can dress up and dress down. Um, now I've, I've tried the 39 millimeter. I've tried the 36 millimeter. 39 millimeter fits really, really well. It sits well with me. Um, almost, um, almost the same feeling as as uh, the the uh, Black Bay 58 here. Um, almost practically the same kind of like dimensions. You know, it's 39 millimeters as well. Um, 48 lug to the lug. This one's 47. Um, and you can and almost forget that that's on the wrist as well. You know, um, and finally, I want to mention one watch that I had for a hot minute, and that was the Zin 856 UTC. And um, you know, I I I really liked the look of the watch. Um, I didn't I didn't um, see it in person before I bought it, but I, I did like the functionality of the UTC. I was looking for something that um, I can keep like a dual time zone uh, GMT style. Uh, watch and uh, I settled with that one because I liked how it was kind of like you know under the radar you know if I was going to go travel uh, go to different parts of the world um, I didn't want anything that was going to you know attract attention and um, and and so I knew I was going to like the watch when I when I bought it and I bought it um, off of the watch buys um, website you know great guys you know really um, great customer service um, and when I, um, unboxed it and opened it up, I was, I was really floored. I mean, it was really a great looking watch. Even my, uh, my wife, uh, really, she says that's still her favorite watch that I've ever bought. Um, but there was a tr uh, issue with the UTC. It was running fast, a few hours fast every day. And, um, I had to send it back. And, and at the time, um, watch buys were, was out of stock of that watch. So they just refunded my money. Um, so no, no hard feelings, um, there with Zen. Uh, I think it was just a random QR issue. 
um, uh, uh, QC issue, sorry. Um, no issue with watch buys. They were great. Um, it won't deter me from buying that watch again. I think I will. Um, just because I love the functionality of the UTC. I just love the legibility of the dial, uh, the tegumented case and bracelet, all, all the technology that um, Zen put in there into their watches. Um, you know, really uh, ticks a lot of boxes for me. So, um, so that will wrap up um, my uh, my my um, thoughts on a uh, couple watches that could fit um, into a one watch collection. So, um, I ask you guys, you know, is there such thing as a one watch collection? Is that crazy talk? Um, you know, maybe not for um, your average civilian who just has one watch and they wear it for every single occasion. But for us enthusiasts or us collectors, could you see yourself paring down your collection one day and just have one watch? Uh, and if so, um, what would that be? Um, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear what you guys say. And um, until the next time, um, have a good one.